to the yes. ah. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Nami and I am from New York in the States, but I've been living over here in Thailand for the past 12 years. Um, and if you do know me, hello again. It's nice to see you. Anyway, I was sitting over here thinking about what video I should make next for my YouTube channel. Um, by the way, if you have any suggestions, please let me know down below in the comments. Also, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel while you're at it. <laughs> and maybe follow my uh, Instagram account. <laughs> Shameless, I know. Anyway, I have so much footage I'm just sitting on from like trips that I've gone on since last year. I've got footage from India, Japan, and the Philippines. So I decided that I would finally start editing uh, the footage from my solo trip to the Philippines and show you just what an amazing, awesome time I had. Oh my gosh, the Philippines. Let me tell you something. I never thought that post-travel depression was like a thing, for me at least until I got back from the Philippines. I think I shed a tear once I stepped foot back in Thailand. Not that Thailand's bad or anything, but ugh, the Philippines, man, that trip was just so amazing. Ooh, it totally exceeded my expectations. And I completely changed my life around after that trip. But that's a different topic. Anyway, let me share with you my solo trip to the Philippines. Episode one. I took Cebu Pacific Airways from Bangkok to Manila, then got a connecting flight from Manila to Puerto Princesa, Palawan. I almost missed that flight too because I got kind of uh, lost at the International Manila Airport and I didn't realize I had to take a bus to get to the domestic airport where I was supposed to catch my plane to get to Puerto Princesa. Anyway, on that flight I ended up making my first friend and a travel buddy for the first two days of my trip. This is Mo, or Abraham. He's one of the most genuine, like, kind people you'll ever meet. It was such a good sign to meet someone so chill and respectful, like, right at the beginning of my trip. Because I'm not gonna lie, I was, um, I was a little nervous, you know? It was my first solo trip outside of Thailand, like, abroad. Um, and my second solo trip, like, in general. So, you know, as a female traveler, and I'm sure other female travelers know, like, solo female travelers especially, you have to be on guard all the time and just really aware of your surroundings and you just have to be cautious, you know? So being such a chill, genuine person, like at the beginning of my trip, just kind of reduced my anxiety levels. <laughs> anyway, another little reason I was having anxiety <laughs> was because I had booked a hotel uh, through booking.com, but they sent me an email saying that my car didn't go through, but that email went to my promotion section. So I didn't see it until I was like on the plane and they sent it to me five days ago and they said, if you don't respond to this email in two days, we're gonna cancel your booking. So I thought, I do not have a hotel to stay in. Turns out that was a false email and I ended up losing my money. But Mo was kind enough to help me book a bed at this hostel that he was staying at. So it all worked out. We made it to Palo One. Anyway, we're about to get a tuk tuk. Check it out. <laughs> Let go. Oh, yeah. This is what the name of this one? Tuk tuk, right? Tuk tuk. Tuk tuk, yeah. It's much yeah. different than the tuk tuks in Thailand. Yeah, I think it's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> After checking in, we decided to go explore around for some food and just, you know, check out the area. We got a chicken and there were little night stalls that were selling fish and fruits and stuff. So we also got some fruit for tomorrow. Yay! And we got some more food when we got back to the hostel. Yeah. Mmm, how's it? Yo, that's good. <laughs> I never stayed in a hostel like this before. Let me show you the hostel. It's definitely a hostel. There are so many people in one room. I was on the top bunk and it would move back and forth whenever the person underneath me would move. So I got like two hours of sleep. There was also one bathroom for everyone in that room and the shower, the water came out like Also someone kept turning the light on in the room, but it was really cheap and it was just like a place to stay for the night until I found somewhere better the next day. Anyway, we booked a tour to Port Barton for the next day. It's 5.30 in the morning and we're going to Port Barton. a mini break so we can pick up some people I guess that are going to Port Barton as well. Yeah sure. Yeah so we decided to get off and take some photos because there's a nice beach down there. Yeah, and um, we're also yawning you know we couldn't sleep very well. We couldn't sleep well. I think I got another three hours or less last night so yeah. I might change my hostel. So we're kind of uh, sleeping walking I guess. Sleep walking like zombies. <laughs> Oh, 
it's so beautiful. Oh my God. We made it to Port Barton. Three hours later. So three hours? Yeah. So how was the journey? How was this for you? Uh, so the journey is, uh, I don't know. I'm guessing we're gonna get a boat soon and head to the sea. Oh wow. You go pro. Hello, mom. Hello. How's the corals? Oh, very nice. <laughs> Did you enjoy? Oh, very much. And your GoPro is low, uh, battery empty. <laughs> yes, my GoPro died, so unfortunately I couldn't film everything. I saw the best fish after it died. Say hello. You're not? So the yes! Turtle. That's so cute! How about you? Yes, <laughs> And then my camera battery died at this beach, which was such a beautiful beach. But I did get some footage on my phone. game all together you know yeah man it's nice it is so nice how is there just a random sandbar in the middle of like nowhere it feels like it's like right in the middle of everything it's you can so imagine cool. you can imagine yeah nature is uh i think should we say magical or is, is it a miracle a miracle <laughs> a miracle Port Barton was such a lovely and beautiful, like relaxed place. And that tour that we did was so chill and amazing. And all the people on the tour were really nice and just cool. Ugh, it was just so beautiful. And it was just the beginning of the things that I could see in the Philippines, you know. I think I may have shed some happy tears because I am a sucker for scenery. I get very close to crying when I see a beautiful sunset or mountains or like water, blue water and landscape. Oh my gosh. I also got to sit on a beach and like dig up some little clams and, and I saw a starfish. I haven't seen a starfish in years. Oh. Anyway, after we got back to the hostel, I packed my things, said goodbye to Mo, and checked into my new hotel because a girl needed to wash her hair. And I was not gonna be able to wash my hair in that little shower that they had at the hostel. Because my batteries died and I didn't have like a converter to charge my camera batteries and stuff, I missed out on some really good footage opportunities. Ah. Funny story, after I checked into this hotel, I decided to like walk out and go check out a restaurant to eat at and it was a new restaurant and when I got in there, all the people who were like working there were so extremely nice and caring and just like really nice and like curious and stuff and uh, one of the waiters kind of asked me out, I guess, and he wanted to take me zip lining and to see the butterfly museum. So I was like, you know, why not? All you guys know each other, everyone here seems like really nice, and it would be nice to be shown around by like a local person who lives there, you know? And uh, yeah, it ended up being a really fun and just like chill, nice day, except for the part where he convinced me to get on this bungee jumping thing. Oh my God. Don't don't try to let go your hand from here. Okay. If you want to scream, you can scream as long as you can, okay? Oh my god. So if you're ready, yes. yes. One, two, and three. Jump. Jump, jump. I have never heard myself scream like that ever in my life. Sakit under. Oh my gosh, I die. I die. I'm back to life. <laughs> 
I was shaking after I got off of that thing, but it was so much fun, the adrenaline rush. And then after that, we went to the Butterfly Museum. And after the museum, we said goodbye and I got a taxi to my hotel to pick up my bags to go to my next hotel. <laughs> I was kind of hotel hopping. I like to look at hotels. But my taxi driver who was driving me around was super nice and very accommodating, helped me get some converters to charge my batteries, and I decided to book a tour through him, or with him, to the Firefly River. But I shall save that for the next episode. Anyway, tell me in the comments below if you've ever been on a solo trip and where you've been. I like to hear your stories because stories are cool. Like, share, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you soon with the next episode of my solo trip to the Philippines. <laughs> <laughs>